Okay, so for this exercise, we are going to use the new software called Touch Designer in order to have a feel of how we can animate a number, number of uh, image sequence and with some kind of drum loop to animate it automatically. So this is the interface of the software Touch Designer. So most of the time, I uh, will close the palette. I will open it up again later, and then press P to to close all the parameter window as well. At the same time, I also use the mouse to remove everything except the audio three one. That will be the main output window. And the first step we're going to do is to create our project folder. So that is the dancing exercise. And in the dancing exercise, we're going to keep the audio folder because we have a number of uh, uh, drum loops that we can use to animate our movie. So we don't have external movie that we can uncheck this one. We have the image sequence so of course we need to keep the images folder and then uncheck the geometry and the channels the new project folder will be in the on the desktop so we are going to have a look of the subfolder as well so for the subfolder image we're going to copy or the dance sequence, uh, dancing sequence images over there. So we're going to copy this one and paste them here. Okay, and then with the audio that you can design which one you're going to download from Moodle to use. So I may just use one or two to test. So I copy the disco over here for the first testing. Okay, so when we get back to the touch designer window, the first thing we're not going to do is to import the image sequence by pressing the tab key. And then we need to open the movie file in. And we can also press the P key to pull up this parameter window. In the file selection, we choose from the cross side, so it's the plus size again. And then go back to our folder that we have is dance exercise. And then from the image, we choose any one of the image first. And you can also see an exclamation mark when you press the middle mouse button that you saw that because that image is in full high then so we cannot support a full high then because of the uh, educational license or the free license so normally I would just go to the common and then change the custom resolution back to the lower one this 1280 by 720 and the other thing we also need to take care of will be like the image sequence because there's only one single image at this moment. So we need to remove the image name PNG and then just keep the folder and then press the pause to reload it. And if you take a closer look, actually you have your image sequence come up running forward at this moment and but in our case we are going to animate by using the music rather than automatically so in that case we're not going to play the movie automatically we'll choose something like specifying the index and the index will actually uh, running from 0 to 59 because we have 60 frames of the image as shown in the links here. Okay, and the other one we need to specify will be the index and then we can reset it back to 0 in the beginning. So it will stop at a 0. 
unless we're going to put another number around here. So for example, like two, so we we'll proceed to the index number two, that is the third frame. So we'll put it back as zero. So that is the image part. And then the second part will be the uh, music that is from the audio folder. So I'm going to drag this one to our project. And then you're going to see the sound wave moving around. So if we need to, for example, to speed up the process, if we see drop frames around here, probably we can stop a little bit of the display by clicking this wheel button so we know that sound is playing at this moment. And the other step for the sound is we're going to listen to the sound from the chalk, that is audio device out, that you can connect your sound to your audio device out. and to listen to the music. And of course, you can also turn off the viewer in order to save a little bit of the performance speed. And if you do not want to be that annoying, actually, you can from the audio device out to turn down the volume a little bit. And then you will resume it afterward. OK. So as we mentioned, we're going to use the drum beat in order to move forward our animation in the movie, uh, in the image sequence. So we're going to analyze this piece of music. So the one we're going to use is in the palette browser that we have just closed in the very beginning. So we'll choose it back again, palette browser, and then we'll pick the one we call audio analysis and drag it around here. Okay, so you see some kind of fancy interface that would not end button. So we're going to connect the sound from our disco to this audio analysis. And we might also want to like turn off a little bit of the visual display in order to have a bit uh, more better performance. And in order to work with the synchronization, we turn on the parameter window of the audio analysis. So we are just going to use the drum, that's the kick and the snare, and also probably the whistle would be fine for us. So we turn off the low, mid, high, frequency and then we'll just turn on the kick drum, snare drum and also the whistle. So once they are turned on, you can actually see from here. See if you connect it to a node. So probably we'll see the counting of the, the, the kick drum, snare drum and the whistle from the display changing from 0 to 1. OK, so then the next step you may want to work with is try to select the type of signal you would like to play around with depending on the type of music. So for example, if I just choose the very simple one whistle from here, the select, I choose the whistle and it's more or less counting the beat of your piece of music with the pop, 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 this kind of sound. Okay, so the music I chose for here are mainly dance music with the heavy rhythm around here, so that will be easier for us to, to, to notice the, the, the beat. And then the second part we're going to do is to go back to here. That when we want to proceed with the animation, we just want to change the index around here. 
So how we're going to change the index? We're going to use the counter. That's the count. And we also know that we have 60 frames in our image folder. So in that case, in the count, we'll limit it to the minimum and maximum counting from 0 to 59, that is 60 frames altogether. And then we're going to connect our rhythm to the counting. That you can see that one is counting the rhythm from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 59 and go back again. So with this one, we will be able to move this number to the index numbers around here. And for productivity purpose, usually I will add another node here. And then before I do the drag and drop, so I drag the wisdom number from here to the index and then release to export chop. So in that case, this number will copy to here. So you're going to see the image moving. So if we just do nothing with uh, none of the other effect in place, we just connect it to the proper window. And at the same time that I want to turn up this in order to have better performance. Okay, and the final step we're going to do is to enable the full screen display in the perform window because this is the designer mode that we, we have everything in our desktop like this one. But when we click the perform button around here, we're going to just see this animation. And we also try to hide the desktop around here. And in that case, we'll go to the perform window in the wood to turn on the full screen, turn off the border, and as well, remove the cursor. And then we can go back to the project one to have a look of the performance. And then I probably need to turn up the volume again. Okay, that's look and sound good. And in order to save a movie for you to reference for the coming exercise, so we can also connect the output to a movie file out. And then we can make use of this record button to, to record the, the live performance of this dancing animation. So for the video code that we're going to choose the MPEG form. And since we have sound at this moment, so we are also going to put our sound in the audio chop here. So the sound is in the audio device out or this one will be also the same. Then we drag this one to the audio chop. Okay, and also remember to turn up the volume again. Okay, and to record the movie is pretty straightforward. You can zoom in to have a look of your dance sequence and click the movie file out again. And when we are ready to record, we can just click the button to start recording the dancing sequence around here.
And when you are done, then you can uncheck this one to end the recording. So the recording will be in your project folder. So I stop this one and then go back to our project folder to have a look. So this one will be the video we just recorded. So you can play back in whichever video player to have a look. So you can recognize this is a more or less easy to do synchronization of your music with particular dance beat with your uh, multiple frames animation. So altogether, this one probably you need to do 60. And then you can proceed with this one as a reference that how the dancing movement kind of synchronizing with the the music. So the music provides you actually the rhythm for you to do the the synchronization with the whistle rhythm that we have just covered. So that is the ideas of this particular piece of work. Okay, and we conclude around here.